Hey, good morning. Good morning. Beautiful, beautiful day. Fishermen out there fishing on the lake. Jesus is Lord. Hey, the word works. And you can trust your Bible. We've been talking about why good, bad things happen to good people, and we found out that you're snared by the words of your mouth. You are taken by the words of your mouth. That's Proverbs chapter 6. Well, in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 19, it says, Life and death are in the power of your tongue. Somebody says, well, you know, the doctor said that I have this disease. No, the doctors are only confirming what you've been saying with your mouth. I feel so bad. Oh, God, I feel so bad. I think that I might have, and then you go and, and you tell it, and then you tell your family, and, and then you look it up on the Internet to find out what the symptoms were. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Why don't you go to Psalm 91 that says, No evil shall befall thee. Why don't you go to Psalm 91 that says, With long life does he satisfy me. And there's something in there with long life. Now, Pat and I have decided to live to be 120 or more, just whenever. But now, we're close, so that means we're close to middle age. With long life. You see, I'm in the secret place of the Most High God, Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, it's spring here, and uh, we're seeing the ducks and the geese and all of those things. You know, they're, they're building their nest and they're laying their eggs. Boy, you want to get in trouble, you mess with an old wild duck or a wild geese who's protecting his brood, and boy, you got your hands full. You're going to be picking them up and putting them down and getting out of there. They're bad because they're protecting their family. Now watch. We live in the secret place of the Most High God, El Elyon. That's his name, El Elyon, the Most High God. That means there's nobody any higher than God. And I like to use the word that like this. If he's the Most High God, then the devil is the Most Low Devil. And so he can't do anything to you unless he steals your authority by the words of your mouth. I got to say that again, might say it a different way here in a minute. The devil doesn't have any authority. He was defeated. He can't just make you sick. He can't just come along and steal your money. He can't do that because he's been defeated. Jesus utterly defeated him in every area when he was on the earth. And of course, when he went into hell, he defeated him there and says, I want the keys, the keys of the kingdom. So the devil can't just do it to you. And then the Bible says in Proverbs, I can't remember where, the curse, causeless, cannot come. It just can't come. So the devil has to talk you into talking bad, believing bad, and all that stuff. And you're around all these other people that talk bad. And so the devil's got your tongue, which on fire, sets on fire the course of natural events. Well, then he can get you talking. Ah, well, you know, I'm... I'm 60 years old, I guess I'm about lived my life. Oh, no, that's when life begins. Moses, watch this. Moses, the Bible says, was 120, and his natural strength abated not. Well, I've got a right to live to be 120. And Caleb said when he was 81, I believe he was, he said, as my strength was when I was 40, my strength is now, and as my ability was when I was 40, this 45 years later, I will take my mountain. In other words, I'm not laying down and just quitting because the devil says I've got to. So you've got to understand your life, life and death, are in the power of your tongue. Well, but I just feel so tired. Yeah, I told you this the other day. I got into that trip. Uh, trap. I felt tired all the time. I talked tired all the time. And then it dawned on me when I started teaching this, I was taken to tired by my words. Well, about a week ago, I was teaching this and I changed my words and I'm not nearly as tired as I was then. And I'm on the increase and I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to sneeze. Whoop, whoop. Maybe I got it. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be young, young looking, young acting, do what I want to do all the days of my long life. My tongue will take me to long life just like somebody else's tongue has taken them to death. You know, 
uh, we have a lot of friends that's older than we are, and, and they're doing quite well. And we teach them these things, that you are snared by your words, and you are taken to long life, are taken to good health by <clears throat> your words. And while I'm on that, money comes to me in the name of Jesus. I'm calling things that be not as though they were. A lot of times I've told you that my needs were met, and I had bills that were due. But I wasn't talking about what I had. I was talking about what I believed that I received. And money always came in to pay the bills. Hey, have a great day. It's a beautiful day out here. I can see the moon still hanging on over there. The sun's up over there. I'm a blessed man. God's on my side, and he's going to let me live a long life because my tongue takes me there, just like your tongue takes you wherever you want to go. I'm a blessed man. Hey, have a great day. Until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.